I'm going to show you a simple working demo of Jaeger. So Jaeger is a open tracing tool which lets you monitor your service uh, visually. So, so currently what you are seeing on the screen is an example of what you will be able to visualize or achieve if you instrument your microservices based applications using Jaeger. So as you can see here you can select which service you are trying to look at and for how much time in the past and uh, limit the results and you will see something called traces so what a trace is is basically a chain of calls between services so here what you are seeing is a service named client is calling a service named uh, your service name for example and then this is constituting a trace and if you click on it you will see the corresponding spans of the services so a span is a representation of how long it took to execute certain parts of the code of a service so for example here as you can see the client span here is spanning over two seconds which means that particular set of code which involved at some point calling another server here the total process took two seconds and in that it was like one second in the client span whereas in the other second the call actually happened and finished so this is useful this sort of visual representation is useful when you have lots of services running and you want to monitor all of them at the same place and in case something goes wrong you can immediately know which one went wrong so if imagine here there are lots of other spans coming from many other services and the one the one which is not working will have a very long span for example or it will show an error here in red color so this makes Jaeger a good tool for open tracing so open tracing is a set of frameworks or libraries or tools which lets a developer instrument his application so that it becomes easier to monitor uh, like this in terms of traces. So Jaeger is one of the more popular open tracing tools. There are others as well. Okay, so now that we have seen uh, how it will it looks in the UI eventually, now I'm going to show you how this is implemented on the back end. So this, the, I'm going to show you a very simple example where there is only one Go service calling another Go service and how the back end of Jaeger is set up. So the prerequisites are, I'm assuming you have Golang installed, uh, Go programming language, and you also have Docker running. If you want a more in-depth explanation uh, along with the architecture of Jaeger and an example using Kubernetes then feel free to comment in the comment section and I can make a much more in-depth uh, video later on. So the first step is to actually start the Jaeger backend running using this command. So this is a docker run command where you basically pull one single image for Jaeger and that image runs in your docker locally and it exposes this particular port here and this one single image takes care of all the components of Jaeger so that you don't have to worry about them individually and all you have to do is do the manual setting up part and Jaeger will take care of the rest so I will just go through the steps as to how to instrument an application so this is the server here and this is the client code so I will start with the client code first so the first step is to initialize a tracer so that you do by uh, creating a configuration which has the service name and some other options such as sampler options so a sampler means you don't want to save information about every single network calls right so you have to maybe limit it at some point otherwise your database will be filled with lots of traces so you can give a, a sampler type as well and once you have created the configuration you use that to create a tracer so that's the first step and the second step is to actually start the span so 
here what I'm doing is I'm starting this span I'm deferring its finish which means the span will start from here and it will only finish after this entire client code is executed okay this is why you saw the client span spanning over the entire entire call time for the client and in the next step there is going to be an HTTP call to the server and notice that I'm not handling error here which you should do so before one does the HTTP call you have to basically you have to inject the spans context into the request header so here as you can see I'm making a new uh, HTTP request which is a get request and it's going to call the URL which will be basically the uh, service URL and here once you inject that spans context then then Yeager knows that it is supposed to uh, track this and uh, using this context and once you have injected then you can do the HTTP call so this is the client side part in the server side you also similarly create a configuration and you initialize a tracer and then uh, here you can see there is this handle function where you're handling that particular endpoint and when you actually get a call then you do do you extract the context right so remember the context which is passed from the caller you extract here and you can start your own span for this particular service on top of the extracted context so that this chain is maintained right so that this span is a part of this span which can be shown here so this is a very brief and very quick example of what Jaeger tracing or tracing with Jaeger looks like and how to instrument your program to incorporate this if you want more in-depth explanation then feel free to comment